Hi folks, thank you for joining us today on BZB Express TV. My name is Joel. Gentleman on my left is our good friend Chris, Mr. Technical Specialist. Today we're discussing the basics when it comes to choosing the best IP PTZ camera for streaming events like, you know, presentations, sermons, or other live events. All right, uh, Chris, actually I have a good scenario for you today. Uh, my church has been asking me lately, they've seen our videos, uh, recent videos on our cameras. Mm. Uh, they would like to know how can they stream high definition um, you know, video on yeah. platforms like YouTube or Facebook. So what are some of the basics that they need to know in order to make this happen? Well, first off, you want to make sure their network is solid. So um, if the network needs some reconfiguring or new router switch because they're old and outdated, make sure that gets taken care of, as well as bandwidth, because bandwidth is critical when you're streaming video it, and audio. It takes up a lot of, uh, a lot of megabits. So um, make sure that's solid. Once you have that solid, there's a variety of types of cameras out there. As we all know, a few people have been looking, you'll see what are all these connections. Well, um, there's cameras that offer a variety of different styles of connections, such as SDI, HDMI, and DVI. The difference between these um, is basically like SDI connection is a coax cable essentially, an RG6 coax, kind of like what you see Comcast display at your house, but it's got high uh, 75 ohms. This is a pretty cool cable. For instance, this guy here, um, as you can see, it's got what's called BNC connectors. They lock into place solidly, work really well, and they, this cable will send a 1080p high definition signal up to 100 meters, 330 feet, which is pretty cool because um, it's an inexpensive cable. The alternative to that is if you have an HDMI output and that's what you're stuck with um, or that's just what you need to use for this particular situation is they can use an HDMI extender, which you know well. Mm -hmm. um, we've covered them before on BZB Express TV, but those will also extend the signal via a Cat5 or Cat6 cable, depending on the unit, up to 328 feet. Um, just make sure you check those specs. So a couple options there. The next thing you're going to need is to make sure that um, the camera that you're using um, has a protocol uh, known as RTMP. So if you're streaming to say YouTube, RTMP will work. However, as of May in 2019, Facebook um, uses another protocol called RTMPS. So what they did was they added an extra security layer there for your protection. Um, if you have a camera older than, say, 2019, May, June, July, there's probably a firmware update you can get out there and put it on your camera in order to stream directly to Facebook um, using that protocol. So that's pretty critical. All right. So if they would like to, um, you know, stream to both Facebook and YouTube, the camera will need to have um, RTMP and RTMP. Uh, RTMPS. Correct. So, I mean, just to tell you the scenario that we got going on, um, the church, uh, my church is not, uh, it's not a big uh, building, decent size, uh, but they, they would like the camera to be about 70 feet away from the presenter. Okay. You know, the, the front uh, pulpit. From there, about 100 feet uh, away uh, from where everything gets plugged in and where the operator is, uh, you know, controlling the stream. Okay. Fairly standard for uh, most houses of worship, for instance. Uh, a 70 foot distance, it's a pretty good, good, good ways away. So what I'd probably recommend is uh, telling your pastor he's gonna want a camera that does at least a 20X zoom. Hold on. Uh, we offer them in 20X and 30X, as well as lower, like 12X. But I would recommend a 30X just as a precaution that'll allow him to get close and tight on whatever he wants to, um, you know, cover as a critical focal point. Mm. As far as uh, running to the 100 feet, again, as I mentioned, the SDI cable will work, an HDMI extender will work. Uh, that's the best way to go because an RS-232 connection, um, which we use, which we'll cover in a second, doesn't work. It just goes like 50 feet. So how about control? Um, he would like, uh, you know, to get different angle shots, uh, you know, some of the members of the, uh, the parish some of the choir mm -hmm. so you know just different angles uh, yeah. shooting angles so there's three methods of control typically with a ptz camera first being the ir remote that actually comes with the camera this gives you some ability to pan tilt zoom um, it's got an auto button for auto focusing or manual focusing so pretty basic however it's a little clunky compared to uh say in a joystick 
the other the other method would be say the web UI so with these cameras they offer an IP address by default that you type into your Internet Explorer browser and this will give you the ability to configure as well as preview whatever you're watching so you can scroll left scroll right again zoom in zoom out uh, works pretty good again a little bit clunky because you're using a tap button a mouse um, the most preferred method that is precise will be using uh, a joystick controller such as this this one in my hands is an RS-232 controller meaning it does not connect via network but it controls it controls the camera using a standard cable um, called an RS-232 cable the DB9 connection the other guy is this controller here which actually is a network controller as well as RS-232 so you can control short range with a cable or you can network this into your cameras mm -hmm. so you search for your camera once you network it find your camera and you can actually control it wherever it's at within the network of course within the local area uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> so I want to take this home. Let me try some. Oh, no, Street Fighter, I can't play. I can't hook it up to my. Oh, all right. So, I mean, yeah, I think my pastor will definitely want one of these. You it's said the way it's to go. reliable, more accurate. It's right? a little more expensive. The IP controllers are about 600 bucks typically. Um, so you pay a little more, but you get a lot more bang for your dollar. You know, what if the church wants more than one camera? You know, if they want multiple set up yeah. around, uh, you know, the environment? Yeah. Um, they make similar to what we use for matrix switchers. So in our previous videos, again on BZB Express TV, we've covered numerous matrix switchers, you know, changing sources um, for home theaters, house systems. Um, they make it for cameras too. So essentially you can buy a matrix switcher uh, for cameras that has SDI connections, has HDMI, even DVI, um, as well as audio uh, de-embedding or audio outputs to send um, out to say an audio mixer. All right, so now I, I understand that's all for like live streaming, uh, but what if you know we want to put something like really cool together, some awesome like you know just edit, chop them up together, you know throw graphics and music. How um, can we do that? Um, good question. I mean, so a lot of people like to do this. They can incorporate their own soundtracks, um, the choir, whatnot. Uh, so typically there's obviously software programs out there that are oh. meant for editing and chopping these up. There's a couple mm -hmm. different options mm -hmm. out there. I don't do much of the software, but um, you can basically edit this. And typically what people will use is a capture device. So there are capture cards, capture devices standalone that you can connect using the HDMI or SDI um, cable that comes from your camera. You plug into the capture device. It converts it to USB. So um, a USB like 3.0 signal being the best, you plug it into your computer and then you can access this um, camera that way. And then you can get your um, software and go ahead and mix, edit, do whatever you gotta do and mm -hmm. save it to your hard drive. Um, that's a standalone little device. It's probably about that big. As well, uh, you can actually integrate a capture card into your computer. So if you're not shy about taking a computer apart and putting a card in there, similar like a graphics card or a sound card, then um, you can do it that way as well. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. What about uh, audio? You know, like there's going to be a lot of audio from the from the presenters, the speakers, the priest, um, the yeah. beautiful choir, uh, yeah. the instruments. So I mean, uh, how you know? So how cameras does it handle? cameras come with like a jack, a 3.5 millimeter input jack, mm -hmm. which essentially you can connect a microphone to. Or for instance, what we're using today is a Bluetooth mic set, which offers a receiver that catches our signal. That's mm -hmm caught to our little uh, belts here with a, yep. uh, another transmitter. So you can connect the receiver to the camera using a 3.5 millimeter and then you can put a microphone on yourself and it will capture the audio. And then you can send it back um, to wherever you want to send it, even an audio mixer, uh, which gets a little more uh, intricate, you know, a mm -hmm. little more complex for those more professional type systems. But um, yeah, there's a couple of different ways to do that. Fantastic stuff today, Chris. All right, thank you for shedding the light on you know what it takes to, to, to find the best IP PTZ camera for any individual setup. Uh, thank you, my church thanks you. Yeah, good luck. Um, Let me know if they got any questions. I'm always here, happy to help. So. Yes, yes, exactly. So I mean, if you guys have any questions, uh, anything that we may not have covered today, uh, feel free to send your questions, comments down below or give our sales department, our tech team, a call via um, phone 
or chat or even email, whatever is convenient for you guys. Uh, guys like Chris here, uh, our team is more than happy to help you guys with any questions. Absolutely. All right. Oh, and don't forget, guys, please subscribe and like uh, the video and our channel, BZB Express TV. We really, truly appreciate all your support. All right. So myself, Joel, Chris, Mr. Specialist, uh, we are signing off. Hope to see you guys on the next episode.